Hello, we're back. In episode 39, I said we'd be talking about the Invader port to the Commodore 64. Again, this time in C. Using the CC6565502 C compiler and Visual Studio Code for editing. Okay, so let's take a look at Invader in Visual Studio Code. So here is what a Commodore 64 program looks like in C in a modern IDE. I have to say, this is now by far my favorite way to develop for this classic machine. I have also separated out the project variables and the sprite data in these two files. I know there's a fancy way to compile and automatically run this in the Vice emulator, but I don't know how to set this up in Visual Studio Code myself. So I instead use a Windows terminal to compile it and then just drag the .prg file to the Vice emulator shortcut on my desktop to run it. This is the necessary command line information to compile my executable. This is the actual executable for the compiler itself. This is my invader.c source code. And this is to name the output file. We're going to name it invader.prg. So if we grab this, open a command prompt, and we'll paste that in there and run it, and you will see the invader.prg file shows up here. And all we have to do is drag and drop the executable onto our emulator, and we're running. And there it is. F1 restarts. We could also convert this to a batch file. So let's make a copy of it. And we'll just call this compile dot bat. And now let's say we wanted to make a simple change. Uh, we go back into here, and let's say instead of starting with three lives, we want to start with five lives. We would just make that change, save this out. Now we're going to delete this program just to show this, and we'll double click on now the compile bat. And there it is. And now when we start it this time, we start with five lives. So this is working great for me. Once I've finished exhausting all the different versions of Invader that I've been working on, I think I'm going to try and write a full game using this pipeline. It's easier than assembly and still generates really fast code, unlike BASIC. And I love having a modern IDE for editing the source code. I will leave links to the forum for the CC65 development and this cool 8-bit workshop web IDE that has support for CC65 and numerous other systems and languages. So let's take a look at this running on the actual hardware now. Okay, so let's check out Invader programmed and cross-compiled on a PC on actual hardware. And we'll use our Ultimate 2 Plus cart for that. There you have it. So next episode, I will be showing a port of Invader to the PC, or really any web-based connected device with a keyboard, using blocks in the Scratch web-based game development IDE. That about wraps up episode 40 of My Journey in Game Programming, 
please like and subscribe and leave any comments or suggestions you may have that could make these a better experience. Until then, bye. I'll talk to you next time.